WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And we got a mixed bag out here. You have the Dow trading down 135 points, about four tenths. The S&P is flat. It's down one point. NASDAQ is up 58. Russell's up one point. So flat there. Semi's up 10. The trannies are up 78. They're the strong indices out here. Gold is off four bucks. Silver down 29 cents. That's a little over one and two tenths percent. Uh, lights be crude off a buck 70. That's off two percent. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini. This is in an A to B equals CD to the upside. It's reached the 1.272 expansion level. Unless there's a bearish reversal candle that forms, price will target the next price projection area, and that's at the 45.78 level. The spot volatilics, which is trading at a lower low than yesterday, uh, look, just trading below the 50-day exponents will be an average. There's enough wind at the back of the S&P 500 or the ES mini to continue to move higher. In the case of the NASDAQ, it's also got an A to B equal CD pattern. I don't have that drawn in here for some reason, but we'll draw that in right now. The A point out here on the low of uh, October 4th. The B point looks like it's the high from October 8th. And the C point looks like it might be the low here from October 12th. So the next price target area to the upside is 15602. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it is back inside its daily profile. If price closes below 93.43, price will target 93.12, the bottom of the profile. Gold not doing much off a few bucks, but not that big of a deal. Really, it is still above the top of its daily profile. So that's an indication of a change in trend. It's trading with inside the weekly profile. The real can, the real need, though, is for gold to close above on a weekly basis, 179060. That's the center of its weekly profile. If we get that, that tells us price should rise to the 1838 level. Silver's giving us a signal, even though it's back a, um, a decent amount today. It's still well above the top of its daily profile. And Turkey with closing above the top of its weekly profile, which is 2423. If it does that tomorrow, you get a change in trend signal. Lightweed crude, it's got an A to B equals CD pattern. I don't have it drawn in here, but you do have a bearish reversal candle. Now what that tells us, if that in fact is what unfolds at day's end, is price should pull back and test the bottom of a new profile. That's at 7930. Natural gas, she's got a new bullish structure profile as well. And this profile is at a higher level than the prior profile, so natural gas should find its legs again and resume up to the 573 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show, but if you have to start your Thursday, have a terrific one, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. The